guys. My name's Philip. My name's Anna. And we're Mont Blanc European Dobermans. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Today we have a special guest. Can you guys guess her name? Secret! <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> but her name is Secret. Uh, so today's video is the most requested video we have from anyone, from our viewers, from our followers. And um, we're happy to share with you guys the way we do the way we do things, how we post our ears for our dogs. Um, you know, and honestly, if you, you guys just forget anything you guys ever learned about posting ear me posting ears, this is the way to do it. Uh, we've been doing this for about what? Almost going on seven. Going on seven years. So um, definitely, we we've gone through a lot, and um, this is <laughs> honestly the fastest, the the best way for your dog is more comfortable. Um, it's lighter on it's their ears too. Yeah. yeah, and um, it's it's cheaper. It's a cheaper alternative. You know, it's a cheaper way of doing things and getting like maximum results. I mean, there's so. many different methods out there. You know, um, obviously tampon, um, back rod, zip tie, tongue depressor, um, cup. There's like a plastic uh, thing that you place on the ears. Um, but definitely this this route, we feel that it's more comfortable. Um, once you get your practice in there, you know, you can definitely do it by yourself. Um, of course, at the beginning, you, you need some help. You need, it's like a two-person job. But once you get the gist of it, you know, you go ahead and do it by yourself. And obviously, they, they start to learn how to just stay still. But definitely reward them for it. You know, they need a high-value treat. And if you guys go ahead and recreate it on your fur babies, we would like for you guys to tag us and, you know, hashtag... Mont Blanc European Dobermans, um, your posting method, because we want to see how you guys do it on your fur babies. You saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. No. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's get on with the video. Okay, guys, so here are the things or the materials that you will be needing for the ear posting. One inch microboard tape, two inch microboard tape, 3M Super 77 adhesion spray, and if you can't find this, then you can definitely go with Torbot bonding cement. Unisol adhesion remover in liquid form, not the white piece, the bottle, and alcohol to clean the ears. You can do 70%. Um, and then this is car shop towels or car paper towels, and of course, cotton balls to clean the inside of the ears. Some hemostats, clamps, scissors, dull point, and lastly, reusable plastic um, cake pop sticks. All right, so as you guys can see, she we did her posting a few days back, and uh, this is how they look still. They look great. So um, we're gonna remove it. We're gonna go ahead and remove it using our um, the Unisol. So this is liquid form. Um, they sell it on Amazon, but they also sell some wipes. But this is like better method. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to remove. That way, you guys don't like wax off the the hairs on the ear because they do have some adhesive spray and the other one does have Torbot bonding cement on the other so this will dissolve all that adhesion on basically everything right. okay. so so always always you don't want to put this and then drip it down like this because then it's going to run down to the ear you don't want any sort of liquid going inside their ear canal so what he's gonna do is he's gonna go ahead and, and tilt her head a little bit yeah there you and go. tilt the ear down exactly so put a lot of product like don't be scared of getting it wet okay a little bit and that's it man they just came off like butter like just all right so uh, first things first before posting we have to do uh, cleaning we have to clean the ear you know make sure you get all the oils take this time of your advantage if the dog is like dirty and then it needs a bath do so now and we're gonna go ahead and clean clean the ears with alcohol Now we're gonna clean the inside, the ear canal. Um, 
you can use cotton. Well, we're, we use cotton balls and um, also Q-tips to get inside the little grooves. But she uses the uh, um, stack clamps. Mm -hmm. Again, don't saturate it too much because it's going inside the air canal. Just, just enough. Wet it enough. Yeah. yeah. And then I like to use this because I can clamp it and I have control. And then he just pulls it up, and I just go like this, and I twist. Yeah, you obviously don't want to use a lot of force and stab your dog. Um, so see how it's like easy to just yeah, yeah just enough just enough like don't even like see and there's like a little bit and this is a, a dry one because I want to make sure that I get rid of all the moisture inside the ear. You want a nice clean dry ear. Yeah. Okay, and now she's ready for posting. Okay, guys. So you are gonna need one sheet of car paper towels, or I guess the guys know it as what? Trump towels. Yes. And then now you're gonna get your plastic um, key pop stick. You know, it's not hollow. So this is the tear line. You're gonna put it right here. You're gonna go in with the one inch. This one. About this much is sufficient just to secure it. There you go. So, because Secret is an older pup, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and fold it. I'll show you another method after this one, but we're going to go ahead and do this one because Secret is much older and bigger and the ear canal is bigger. So, you go ahead and fold it. So, right here where it ends, that's the fold mark. A little bit of tape. And then just another one right here. Now you're gonna go ahead and fold. So getting the tips. Roll it. So now you have this. Here's your post. So we're gonna go ahead and place three uh, pieces of tape to go ahead and secure this. doesn't have to be big just enough to go over there's like no specific placement of where to put it just as long as you know it's nice and closed off now with the one inch you're gonna go ahead and stretch it out that's what she said <laughs> Flip it. This is gonna go to the top. This area that's closed goes inside the ear. This one goes to the top. You can get the one inch. Stick it like that, because you're gonna go ahead and spiral it. So you're gonna stick it down, but what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go ahead and like spiral it back, because you want to stick the part up, and you keep doing it all the way through. It's okay, baby. We're almost done. And there you have it. And you repeat this process twice. So this is what will be going inside the ear canal. Now here is the one for the puppies. This is for puppies that are fairly new to the posting and there's a difference in this one. So again, one sheet of paper. You see the outline where it rips off, cake pop. Place it right here. One inch tape. You're gonna secure it. So now with Secret, because she's bigger, I went ahead and I folded it and I rolled it. But if it were a puppy that's newly getting posted and the ear canal's too small, I'm gonna go ahead and cut from this dist distance. Okay, and then this is what's going to be left over. You're going to go ahead and roll it. There you have it. Secure it.
Now again, you want to look at the ends of it. So I like this one because right here, it's not sticking out as much. So if you can see, it sticks out. Right here, it doesn't. So this is going to be going inside the ear canal. You don't want to put this one because if it does become dislodged because, you know, their puppies are growing, they're running, they're shaking, they're rough housing. You don't want this to get dislodged and perforate the ear canal. So we're going to go with this side. Again, with the one inch, we're going to go ahead and tape it down and go back on itself. So spiral it. And a little side by side. So you can see that this one's thinner and this one's thicker. Obviously this one you can still see a little bit of the popsicle stick, but this one you can't because you folded it at the point of the popsicle stick. And there you have it guys. So um, now it's uh, time for the ear posting. So there goes the secret. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we don't like how it looks, so that's why we continue to do the posting method. Um, you know, everybody has a preference. There's people that will look at this and be like, oh, I'm done. You know, but obviously us, we're, we're different. <laughs> so we're yeah. going to go ahead and continue. Yeah, so um, we she's going on nine months. Mm -hmm. She's going on nine months, and we're still going to post her ears just because they're up. Um, they're up. They go up. She, she's When she's alert, they go up. But they still kind of tend to, like, angle out a little bit. And we like them to be nice and wrecked, you know, or erect. <laughs> and when she runs, they go like. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the only thing to do here is to just keep posting, you know, keep posting, and um, and that will help correct that. Alrighty, guys. So just for reference, you know, so you guys can see what I'm talking about when when we were saying why not the smaller one and why the bigger one. You guys can see the difference. So if you could just turn your this way to me. So when we're gonna go ahead and insert, you know, you insert right here. And look at that. We have so much space right here. And of course, if she's like, look at that, she's so much space. You want it to like hug the ear and you want it to fill this space because otherwise, you know, she's bigger, she's more um, stronger. stronger, you know, she's more rough. This can come out and be like this. Look at this lodge. So you guys want it nice and snug. So you don't you don't want none of that stuff because then it could damage this area and then she'll end up being like this. And yeah, and it will. Um, it will ruin gonna... the crop and obviously the ear thing is like what makes the dobe the dobe. Yeah, it's not gonna heal properly. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the bigger post and we use this one um, if you're not able to use it there's another thing that we use and it's called bonding cement which is this one and we'll go ahead and demonstrate how we use it so because she's bigger and stronger i'm gonna actually coat both sides not a whole lot you don't need a lot um and just coat both sides that way it gets tacky and then when i put it on the inside of the ear and then I put the tape on the outside it can actually hold on here and here at the same time so I hope you guys oh, sorry baby hopefully you guys can see it's like running down a little bit it's not like a whole lot so go ahead and turn her which way this way's fine so I like to hold her like this just to have more control you're not I mean she's still breathing you know but you uh you have more control like this. So then, when I'm gonna go ahead and insert, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna curl the ear out and then insert this because what happens is that you're training the tip to curl yeah, this fold. way. Yeah, and and then when you finally stop posting, the ear eventually is gonna do this all the time. And there's dogs that have some beautiful ear crops, but because you know you do this and you insert, you, you're used to this method. So what I like to do is hold the tip and pull up and I insert I don't go like really hard so when I insert I pull up and I'm stretching the ear I want to make sure that ear is nice and stretched so nice and stretched and look at that it covers and hugs everything very uniformly 
hopefully you guys can see it covers everything and then i just tape it and then he holds it hold it from the tip so she could uh your helper or whoever's tape, doing the tape job could go ahead and you know your hands are in the way and now going with the two inch microphone tape you're gonna get three pieces of these So, I don't get too much. Um, this little flap right here, you don't want to put the tape and go against it. You want to go with it. See how it naturally just goes this way? So, using this as my guideline, I'm going to point down to the ear with this corner. Hopefully, you guys can see. Kind of like that. Tape it. And then this way and I'm letting it loose so you guys can see how loose it is because what you're gonna do now is that you're gonna go with the flap and then just hold like that and by doing this um, you're not actually like putting the tape and going forcibly against the skin because what happens is that it starts to track like a tourniquet you are preventing blood flow blood flow of going to the area and when there's no blood flow to the area um things start to die like cells tissue everything starts to die it starts to get like necrotic that's a term of like death of the tissue um and then it starts to get this like nasty smell this nasty wound and by the time that you realize you know the ear could possibly be already all the way gone really yeah so this is a very critical um step uh, you don't want it to be too tight here if it's too tight all this is going to die off and you know it's going to be a shame that you know you have to um to cut your dog's ears again and make a battle crop now because uh because of that you know and there's dogs out there that have gone through this and um you know it, it's unfortunate right yeah definitely and you know our recommendation to you guys is always check it daily you know sniff it like actually get in there <laughs> and sniff the dog's ear you know inspect it every day make sure that it doesn't smell foul it doesn't smell like a wound if you guys know how that smells or like i guess dead flesh um that there's no like brown yellow ooze coming off of, of any area of the ear i like that it's white and it's paper tape so you can actually like visibly see if anything's coming out any discharge that comes out is abnormal and you should take off the post immediately if they become dirty if they become wet you know take it off let them breathe for an hour and then post back again as long as it's not infected and as long as it's not like you have micro tears on there so we're gonna do one more so this is the one now again so again same direction i'm gonna use this as my guideline hopefully you guys can see this little corner so we're gonna go this way what is it Huh? Counterclockwise? No. You just go at an angle. Clockwise, right? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Again, see, it's not tight. And just squeeze. I'm not squeezing super hard. Yeah, before we would go, like, instead of angling it, we would just go straight. And you don't want to do that because, um, you know, this part of the ear. You're gonna create some pressure there, so it's better to always angle it. Okay, and then now for the last piece. Um, so we did. We did uh, this way twice, so, so now we, we go backwards once. Now we go once backward, just to, to secure. Turn it this way. There you go. So again, using the corner of it as a guideline to point down like an arrow, and then just let it do its thing and then squeeze it's okay like if it's like x's over here um i like to cut a little bit off the tip because it, it's obviously too long um hopefully you guys can see but her ear is about here i like to go higher about this high and put my finger there and then Protect i just it. cut it that way i'm like okay i see it but guess what she moved and you snipped her tip yeah, no you don't like, want that you want somebody to hold them and you want to go ahead and put your good girl your finger above the ear and of course i always put my finger and then i put the scissors on top of my finger and then i just cut straight and that's it and just so Last this step. part 
doesn't come out. I get two pieces of the one inch. And I put it like an X or like a cross type thing. So there's one piece. I'm not putting it overly tight. You don't want to do that. And this is a post with the go. 3M Super 77 spray. Easy, simple, you know, no Look hesitation. That. You can still put your finger in there. It's still movable, it's still pliable, and that's what you want. You don't want it super tight. You want to be able to squeeze the tape, and that will go ahead and secure the ear to the rod. Yeah, and this, um, actually, you can leave it off for uh, between 7 to 10 days. Um, when you're really starting, I would say 7 days is probably max, but later on, um, or if she gets soiled, just change it out. But 10 days, I would say, is max, is, is good, and that's when you want to remove it, clean the area, give it a shower, do what you got to do. And then uh, go ahead and repost again. We um, <clears throat> when you remove it, I think like you don't want to go like over an hour, like of not posting. So right after, just clean the ears, let it dry off, and then repost. You know. Yeah, because when you're newly posting your your pup, you know you want to be persistent, and persistency is what will get their ears up. If you're not persistent and you don't do it religiously, then the ears are going to stay like, like this and I mean, it's going to be a shame if you cut the ears and then the ears end up down. You know, that's, right. that's more, I think that's more the cruel part, right? Yeah, um, you know, you, you already put your dog through the ear cropping. Um, you know, it's a shame if you just don't do your part of the, mm -hmm. of the, um, of it and you know, just let them fall, you know, that's just negligence. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the other side now. Next year. Using the Torbot. We used to use this a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so Torbot is a really good um, alternative. I know some people can't get a hold of the um, adhesion spray because I guess it's illegal now. In, in California. In California, you know California. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So what I like about this Torbot is that it has like a like a little. Hopefully it's, it focuses. It has a little brush and I took off quite a lot because you don't need a lot. Um, so on this side, I'm going to go ahead and put it. And it's it's just a thin coat. You don't need metiche <laughs> chismitos. Very nosy, man. Very <laughs> on everything. I mean, aren't all Dobermans? Yeah, chismosos look at that so it's not it's not thick and this is what will be going inside the ear all right so let's go ahead and turn the head so yeah see it's nice and tacky you want to go ahead and pull up not curl it so you want to pull up insert and then pull up nice and stretched there you go again two inch three pieces I cut them very small because she moves around a lot yeah when your dogs are bigger they I mean obviously they have stronger neck muscles and they'll just they'll just shoot those things out of the ears when they wiggle them out man so, so look at that you can't even tell you don't need an exaggerated amount yeah a little goes a long way with this you know and make sure to cover it because if you don't cover it tight it will dry out so again at the very bottom stick it to the rod and go with the flap not against it it's okay if it just did that Squeeze. yeah just let the tape fall into place you know there no you need to just let it fall into place i did longer arrow facing down as my guideline and eventually it starts to come back down and last piece so we did two going this way now we're gonna do one going this way all righty girl almost there almost there our subject wants to get paid She's like, hey, hurry up man yeah we usually do this like just because we're teaching you guys but man this we do it like in less than five minutes and with the other the baccarat method you have oh, to put that tape that duct tape and roll it like six times and it just takes so much time and you know uh it's a pain <laughs> all righty so again um the tip of the ears here i'm gonna place my thumb above it so turn it this way 
There you go. My thumb is always there. And I cut above my thumb. I don't just like, sorry. I don't just get it and cut it. Because I could risk her moving and I could cut the tip of the ear and no. Right. No, 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 no. Cool. So Again, two pieces of the one inch. Because you want to secure the top. Hold on, hold on. Girl, secret. And there you have it, guys. There you have it, guys. These are the posts. Um, n now we're gonna do the bridge. She doesn't really need a bridge no more because uh, when she hears noise, like yeah, she'll be like, what? they go up. <laughs> and one thing you want to do is not always bridge it because if you bridge it too tight, if you bridge it too close, like too this, close, uh -huh. the dog eventually will go like this yeah so they're like this already and then they hear something and they flex them even more and they cross like that so that's something you don't want you don't want your dormant ears to cross you know yeah so um, it's only temporarily to mm -hmm. do the bridge um, obviously as I think maybe like within four weeks you can just leave it like that it's okay if it looks like like that yeah because when they hear something they'll be like Whoop, what what <laughs> and depending on your dogs I mean if if um, if you see that your ears that your dog's ears are crossing at like or touching just don't, don't don't bridge, bridge it, it um, and just let them um, you know just don't bridge it let them exercise their muscles you know all right but obviously because you're gonna be posting your new puppy you want somebody to help you hold them straight all right this is a critical step here so well, putting the bridge as you can see her face is nice and flat throughout you want the ears to do the same you don't want the ears to go like this you don't want to bridge it and then just 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 go like this you don't want to do that you want to go ahead and they look like bats yeah you don't you don't want that you want it to be nice and sleek and be nice and, and flat to the cheek yeah you're gonna lift and you're gonna i guess what is this turn out turn out yeah you want it to be nice and flushed and you don't want no interruptions you i mean the doberman you want them to you know just you want them to be nice and um what's the word just like sleep you know like just run your hands down through them mm -hmm. Alrighty, baby. So again, lift and then turn out. Yeah, hold and it. You hold it. I go with the one inch, but you can definitely use the two inch. I get just enough tape. Make sure they're nice and parallel too. You know. So I go back here. Not too tight. I stick it to here. Of course, if you cut it um, too short, um, you know you can do another one, but. I just do this because it's nice and long and it overlap together and just to make sure that this doesn't come out I get a little piece I go back here and I stick it there and there you have it guys there you go that's your bridge that's your bridge and you're posting but remember it's crucial to do this at the beginning otherwise they don't know that this is like a little bit heavy especially when it's their new time and they'll have their ears like <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, she is. so this is the way we do things this is the way we post our dog's ears it's a very simple method very uh, it gets the job done very well like at the first few days like and if you remove them you'll see that they're nice and, and straight you know um, one thing that 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 Anna noticed or she she did the calculation on is the popsicle sticks oh yeah guys so this is a money saver you know you um what, what is that for a year supply yeah because there's a hundred in here for like 350 there's a hundred in here obviously you need to use two you know you divide that so a hundred uh, divided by two that's 50 that's 50 weeks worth, worth of, of posting. posting and I mean there's like what 52.18 weeks in a year so you have literally a whole year <laughs> of posting the ears you know just Take it out with the Unisoft, toss it out, you know. The only thing that you're gonna need to be buying is this and possibly this, you know, because you're gonna be using and it to the remove. Tape. Oh yeah, and these guys right here. Yeah, this is very good tape, you know. It, and they come in, in big packets. In packets yeah. They come in big packets, like I think it's like five bucks for a pack of six and like maybe another six for a pack of like twelve. So Yeah, all the packs. items are gonna be linked down in the description. Um you know just go ahead and, and hit the link you'll be able to get everything that we use there for the ear posting and um, 
She's gonna get a treat. And she's now, a good uh, girl. <laughs> now, we, now we gotta pay secret, right? Secret. We're gonna pay her for being such a good girl. You know, she's obviously very used to this, and your dog's gonna be very used to it as well. Um, it just takes time, but ooh, what is that? Put in the camera. All right. So she's gonna get. What is that? Fish. <laughs> it's sardine. sardine. So we we incorporate raw feeding into our dog's meals you that's know that's another video though we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about diet in another video oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she's knows, excited Jerry. she hey, loves hey, it she goes crazy I for see. it no you have Secret. to work for it i see no, no. you have to work for it i see i see no, no. i <laughs> see she's excited obviously Abwa. <laughs> oh good girl Abwa. <laughs> good girl here you go mama good girl and <laughs> Please don't forget it. to reward your pet for doing such a good job and dealing with that because, I mean, it's the first time. Yeah, I think you get a little stressed out, you know. You, you can give them some peanut butter, you know, get them, get them busy or whatever. But, um, you know, I don't know. What else do you want to add? Yeah, guys, so please tag us. Um, hashtag, you know, Mont Blanc Doberman's um, ear posting method because we want to see how you guys do your take on, on this ear posting method that we love so much yeah um, this is the best ear posting method honestly hands down the best you you don't have to do any other method uh, but yeah tag us definitely um that'll, that'll be nice you know if if we see that you guys are are using our method to tag your your to uh post your dog's ears right yeah i definitely want to see your fur babies and you know how you guys like it you know comment down below if it was easy if it was hard for you if you like it if you want to continue to do it um like i said you know comment down below let us know how you guys feel about this. And, and you saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, that, that will conclude our video for today. Um, and like always, you know, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>